And thanks for your patience. Two years ago, at the American Civic Association in Binghamton, New York, a man walked into one of the classes of um, immigrants and refugees in an English class, and he opened fire. He killed 13 people. Needless to say, our community was in crisis at that point. Um, as you just heard, I'm a synodical deacon, so I have the honor, or had the honor, of having Pastor Michelle Fisher as my supervisor and now my very close friend. And she was the inspiration to what we did from there. So I've asked her to come up and share with you a little bit. Redeemer Lutheran Church in Binghamton, New York was lo is located three blocks roughly from the Americ Civic Association. And in fact, their parish building had been used by the Americ Civic Association for teaching English as a second language classes. While the drama was still going on and even before we knew if what had happened to the shooter, I called Barbara and said, let's do a prayer service tonight. Let's do a prayer service. So we, she said, yeah, we, we got together and we, we put a few words out to some of the local media that we were going to have a prayer service. It kind of took on a life of its own after that. Barbara calls me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I just got a phone call from CBN News. <laughs> um, at that point, we realized we were in over our heads, and we contacted uh, Lutheran Disaster Response, Patsy Galista, and said, um, I think we're going to get some significant turnout at this prayer service tonight. What do we do? And Lutheran Disaster Response, Patsy Galista, she gave us some hints. And then she said, call Steve Bigner. <laughs> Steve had been, worked with uh, the church Zion and Clarence Center when the airplane had gone down. And had helped work, helped lead that community through a time of prayer. And so... We opened the doors of the church, Redeemer. Not just us, not just Barb and I, but the other clergy in the community, Presbyterians, Methodists. They came out and they stood with us. One of the persons who got up and speak, spoke, was a, a, Czech, a Czech pastor from the Prov from Slovak or Czechoslovakia? Czechoslovakia? Well, Czechoslovakia, I think he was Czech. And he had taken classes at the American Civic Association, and so he spoke about how closely he was tied to that. Patsy Galista is always saying, and, and the Lutheran Disaster Response Team is always saying to congregations, do you have a disaster preparedness plan? It's not a matter of if a disaster will happen. It's a matter of when. And a lot of times it's not the church building. It's your community. How are you going to handle a disaster in your community, a crisis. And fortunately, we had the help of LDR and Steve Bigner to help us uh, figure out what to do. The psalm we've chosen, Psalm 18, we'll be reading it from the message. I love you, God. You make me strong. God is bedrock under my feet. 
the castle in which I live, my rescuing knight, my God, the high crag where I run for dear life, hiding behind the boulders, safe in the granite hideout. Sing to God the praise lofty and find myself safe and saved. The hangman's noose was tight at my throat. Devil waters rushed over me. Hell's ropes cinched me tight. Death traps barred every exit. A hostile world. I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace, he hears my call. My cry brings me right into his presence. A private audience. But me he caught reached all the way from sky to sea. He pulled me out of the ocean of hate, that enemy chaos, the void in which I was drowning. They hit me when I was down, but God stuck by me. What we learned was when you're in crisis, yes, it's good to have a plan within your own home congregation but it's even more important to be in community with those churches, those people around you. That night, that prayer service, I will never forget this. We had Muslims, Jews, and Christians praying together under the same roof. No one can convince me that our God was not pleased with that. It was an incredible night. Michelle chose Rock of Ages. You know, when we stand together on the rock, we make the cleft that other people can hide in. Let's sing. Let's sing. Let's sing.